do some shit for the black culture. We got enough babies and diseases out here. We don't need no shit else about <laughs> sex, Candy. Get ready, because you about to be an atl atl Let me go back to where, what Marlo said about Candy. I can't remember what she said. She said Candy doesn't do a lot for uh, black people. And then Candy uh, slap, clapped back and pretty much said that... Um, she does more than anybody, yada, 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 yada. I know y'all talk about, here come the candy hay train. Here come the candy hay train. Where is the candy hay train? I'm trying to tell y'all what she said. Hold on. It's out here. We don't need no shit else about <laughs> sex, Candy. You done fuck, you fucked out in Atlanta, okay? And I done had plenty too, like you say. But girl, tribute to a play and become a producer. How to get a restaurant. Do some shit for the black culture. We got enough babies and diseases out here. We don't need no shit else about sex, Candy. <laughs> you didn't fuck. You fucked out in Atlanta, okay? Well, that's what uh, Milo like had to say. That Candy is effed out, honey. She does not hold her words. You know, Milo is pretty, you know, good and everything. And so she said that, you know, Candy's sex toy. She's just doing too much. Now uh, here's Candy's response to what Milo said on Carlos King's and she uh, act show. Like she don't remember. Listen, I buy, I pay off college tuitions for people I don't even know. Okay, Miss Candy Burns is giving back to the culture. Oh, what? I put all my businesses in black communities so that I can bring more jobs to our community. What's she doing? Uh, and, what? and to be clear, of all people that I've helped, she should know. Because when she wasn't on this show and couldn't get on this show for years, who helped her get another show Ooh. another network? But she wanted to kiss ass and be a friend of the show again on this show, so she let the opportunity drop. But it's facts. I got her showing a whole nother network when she needed help. And she want to get over here and show her motherfucking ass. She's getting on my nerves. Like I live Now, remember, remember, Katie just confirmed what I told y'all about um, Marlo uh, and Candy and Marlo uh, allowing Candy's contract to expire and deciding that she would prefer to be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta as a friend than being on a show with two unknown uh, guys, messy gay guys, Junkie Dineva and uh, Rico, uh, what's his name, the designer. Uh, yeah, remember I told y'all about that, and everybody kept saying it was Marlo asking for this or Marlo asking for that. that that's not what happened. What happened was Candy had them under contract for a certain number of years. They filmed the pilot episode uh it took them a long time to pitch the show to networks and then by the time they pitched it to networks um marlo had an opportunity to either come back to the real housewives of atlanta or you know do this show and so she decided the money looked better on bravo than it did going to tv1 or wherever it was on this show with junkie dineva and whoever else so she decided to stay on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> so one of your classmates, Marlo, seems to think that you should be doing more for the culture and even said that you need to stop talking about sex. <laughs> so how do you feel hearing that tonight? <laughs> so funny. Um, and that's why she'd be so fake to me. Uh, was it day or last night she was sending us to invite her thing. She wanted us to come support her and her business or whatever. And I was the first one on the group text probably the only one, no, one of two of all the housewives who said, oh yeah, girl, I'm going to come be there for you. She gets on my motherfucking nerves. I'm tired of her bullshit. She's fake as fuck. If y'all do not know, I have been doing way more for the community than all of them. I don't mind saying it. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's enough. But um, there's that. But, you know, I just wanted to reiterate that, you know, my tea is always true. I'm just letting y'all know. People come up with all these outlandish stories, even though, you know, um, I don't never ride for Marlo like that. Like, it wasn't true that Marlo was making all these outrageous demands. And that's why the show was canceled. The show was canceled because the contract was up and Marlo had the opportunity to either return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta as a friend of the show, making six figures, most likely, or go on this show and make $20,000. <laughs> so there's that. Um, you know, I don't know that this beat between Candy and, and Marlo is real. I don't think it is. I don't know. Candy has been known to say that, you know, they were beefing during the show, but they cool now after the show and all of that. So um, there's that. Anywho, 
He said, uh, Michelle, do you think Marlo's right? Of course. I mean, if it's about dollars and cents, of course. Why would I go on a show with Junk and Dineva and them and make pennies when I could go on a major network, Bravo, and make uh, six figures or more? Like, come on. Are you serious? She's talking about money now. You see what her ultimate goal was to get a peach. So I, I guess she uh, made the right decision. She made the right decision. If she had done that show, that show would have been one and done. Nobody would have been talking about it now. And, you know, next thing you know, she would just would have been uh, in obscurity. <laughs> and it just would have been, you know, fodder for, uh, you know, the Instagrams. Other than that, you know, there's that. Marlo was not right for calling her a hoe. Well, I don't believe that either. How can Marlo call anybody a hoe, but they've been calling her a hoe all these years? I don't understand that either. But anywho, uh, if y'all want to call in, give me your two cents on, you know, these particular topics. I would love to hear what you have to say. To Think about it. You said Marho? Oh, no. You said they are about the same. Why y'all doing candy like that? See, then it's going to be my fault. Y'all going to blame me. For the drag. Anywho. Anywho. Um, you said Marlo made the right decision. I think so too. I think so too. Um, right. Nobody batted an eyelash when they was calling Marlo a prostitute. Exactly. Now y'all mad because Marlo is calling Candy out, saying that she been with everybody in the neighborhood, in the in in the neighborhood, in the industry. She has. She has one of my first uh posts about Candy joining the real housewives of atlanta pretty much listed everybody who she dated hold on if you want me to go in the archives y'all know i will here it is right here march 7th 2009 oh 2009 i broke this post right here and it said and i quote atlanta housewives plus candy burris equal real a-town flavor see i've always been team candy it's been leaked recently that former escape member candy burris has been slated as the replacement for deshaun snow on next season of bravo's real housewives of atlanta and i'm really excited i was really excited look but keep going keep going blah 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 blah. y'all can read it i'll put the link in the chat y'all can read it but uh in it uh, I also talked about, you know, her claim to fame was, you know, Grammy Award winning some writing credits, some of which with Atlanta producer Kevin Shakespeare Briggs. Uh, in addition to their working quote unquote relationship, the two eventually hooked up as well. She has a six year old daughter by Russell Block Spencer. Uh, Candy's also look, I'm jumping around. Candy's been involved with one of the twins from Jagged Edge, another so so deaf group. Uh, it was rumored that, you know, uh, the breakup of Escape was because of her cough relationship with the group's producer, which happened to be Jermaine Dupree, was the group's final breaking point, causing mad tension and, and cries of favoritism amongst the members. See, I, you know, I spilled this tea a long time ago and was also involved in a high profile relationship with Gerald LeVert for a while. Their relationship ended after the couple couldn't see eye to eye. Mm. So all of that's in there. So, you know, if y'all want to read it, it's over there. I put the link in the chat, you know, all of that. Um, I know it's old news, but you know, I like to bring it up, honey. I like to bring up the receipts that I reported on it. And when people go digging, um, I'm one of their sources. I'm just letting you know, okay? 